middle school, an ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life is anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. to relax and celebrate nature. How are we supposed to celebrate nature with all these living things around? Ugh. Yeah, these mosquitoes are total party crashers. Ow! <laughs> Ever think we're crashing their party? And that's enough relaxing. We're really here to earn our nature merit badges. We'll race to see who can put up their tent first. Blindfolded. Ooh, I love the blindfolded tent race. Then it's a gourmet s'more bake-off. Can we be blindfolded for that too? Followed by our annual owl hooting competition. I've been perfecting my Eastern Screech Owl all week. Ooh, ooh. Lovely, sweetie, but Add a little more vibrato on that warble, and like so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, the blindfolded tent race. Eyes up here for a quick demo. Blindfolded tent race? Can we all please get a clue? Whoa. Everyone knows the coolest thing at campfires is telling scary good stories. I have one so scary, it'll chip your manicure. It's about this girl who had a possessed cell phone that latched onto her ear and controlled her brain. Come on, girls. Sound like anyone we know? <laughs> Creepy. Oh. If you think you have a better story, then spill it. Actually, I do have one. It's about a group of kids camping in the woods, way out in the middle of nowhere, where no one can hear you scream. The only sound was the howl of the lonely wind. One of the kids, uh, Liz Allen, was making just a few suggestions about the best way to collect firewood. You get oak. I'm putting you on pine. And you don't come back without enough kindling to make smoke signals visible from three counties over. If you need me, I'll be over here stocking up on birch. One boy, uh, Larry. But he was too cool for Liz Ellen's plan. Uh, this trip's supposed to be fun. Can you take a chill pill, Liz Ellen? Liz Ellen! Liz Ellen! I promise on my credit card, she was just here. Liz Ellen! Come out, come out, wherever you, like, are. We better split up and look for her. The search was on. Here's the deal. We'll text each other as soon as we see Larry. Hold, oh, please. Isn't Liz Allen the one who's missing? Yeah, but Larry's the one who looks so lumberjack chic in hiking boots. Melinda waited for Marla to text her. And waited. Hello? It's time for someone to upgrade their service because it's no pool party being out here all alone. Then, all of a sudden... <laughs> That's when Melinda put two and two together. She got seven. This girl was no math whiz, but she was still able to figure out that... Marla's missing too! Meanwhile, 
Larry and Buddy were still searching for Liz Ellen when they heard a... Now, did that sound like an I broke a nail scream or an I've gone missing two scream? I hear something, but I, I can't see it. It might have helped if he took off his sunglasses. I'll go check it out. And I'll wait here. Larry! <gasps> All Buddy could make out in the dark was a salivating fang. A beady eye. <laughs> Liz Ellen? Marla? Melinda? By now, uh, Eerie had a sinking feeling. Larry? Buddy! Anyone! But something was very, very wrong. Oh, giant wingy thing snatching kids. I'm all in what universe? It could happen. Whoa. Maybe ghosts were taking the kids. Or, or the boogeyman! At night, he zips the kids up in their sleeping bags and rolls them into this slimy bath-filled cave, where then he takes their fingernails and he paints them pink and red, and then he takes their toenails and he paints them pink and red, but a different... I get it! Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, Larry and Buddy were in the woods. Larry disappeared. Buddy steps on Larry's glasses. Then Buddy's attacked by vicious moths and a tree falls. So there Eerie was, all alone. But even with all the night crawlers to keep her company, she was getting more and more worried about her missing friends. Where are you guys? <gasps> Only stick bugs. Phew. But Eerie wasn't as safe as she thought she was. <gasps> Who's there? And that's when Eerie saw... Her friends! <laughs> Hurry! Before they come back! Eerie had to act fast, so she scurried up the nearest tree in one second flat. Holy! There's no way some kid could climb a tree that fast. Well, maybe Eerie's not just some kid. Ooh, I get it! Wait, I don't get it. Eerie had a secret. She was raised by a family of bugs and learned how to climb with the fastest roaches. Nice try. This story has more holes than my crochet poncho. So Eerie scrambled up the tree and was about to free Liz Ellen <laughs> when two giant moths snatched her. Ah! Toast, burnt croissants. This makes no sense. Everything I've read about moths says they're friendly and harmless. Yeah? So why are these two out for blood? If I could uh, just reach the bug spray my... Uh, Dad always puts in my backpack. Talking <laughs> muffins! <sighs> just think of all the things we'll miss. New mall openings, the free summer half-offs and annual bikini sales. Uh-uh. These moths have messed with the wrong shopaholic. I'm calling for help. That's when Marla's worst nightmare came true. No reception! No! Now that's scary. Gotta get out! Then, Eerie got an idea. Come on, guys, follow my lead. They were safe. Or were they? had more.
morphed into mutant flesh-eating moths. Then they turned Eerie into a moth, and they all lived happily ever after the end. Wait a sec. That's not a happy ending. It is so a happy ending. All the kids turned into bugs. How wicked is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Wicked. <laughs> like I said, I've had bad hair days scarier than that story. <sighs> Ave, voila! <laughs> oh. All right, troopers. <laughs> Since that took a tad longer than expected, we'll jump ahead in the schedule to our one-handed macrame marathon. To the picnic table! <laughs> Who ever heard of moth people anyway? A moth caterpillar turns into a moth inside a cocoon, and a butterfly caterpillar makes a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, digestive juices stimulate the caterpillar to transform into a butterfly. Either way, that's my kind of makeover. Dr. Pappas, it is our duty as educators to create an environment that's conducive to learning. And that means a clean environment. The head of the school board will be here at 3 p.m. for the annual cleanliness inspection. If we win again this year, Midlington Middle School will set a new state record. I assure you, Miss Montserrat, last year's incident won't be repeated. We then had two drops of the solution. <laughs> it had better not, Dr. Pappas. It took two weeks to get them to agree to re-inspect. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to begin my pre-inspection inspection. inspection. <gasps> No spreading germs. Detention! And you can disinfect on your way there. Books not in alphabetical order. Detention! And lunchroom detail. No sticky stuff in the hallways. Detention! <laughs> Your student council sash is crooked, Chris Alice. Detention! Huh? Now take this toothbrush and start scrubbing. Simply breathtaking. Oh, bravo! Such grace! Yeah, wicked. Perhaps we should add a ballet leg, followed by a flamingo move. Creepy creature! Are those insects? Standing water is a breeding ground for mold and vermin. But I... Report to detention after you finish scrubbing lockers. I'll deal with this disgusting pest. Of course, we could go a little tighter on the cadence action and finish with the barracuda. Oh! She's out of control. I got one for having water in the sink. That's nothing. She gave me one for poor composition and shading. Come on, Carla. There's only one thing that'll cheer you up at a time like this. Lip gloss! Hmm. Am I feeling raspberry kiss or strawberry smooch? <gasps> Maybe Pink Princess Pucker. Um, what was that? I thought it was your stomach. Maybe we should, like, go... Go, 
Sirs, is something wrong? Do we need emergency counseling? You're dragging water down my clean hallway! Detention for you both! Then, counseling. Cleaning. Cleaning. Only hours until inspection. I am ruined. Childhood dreams unfulfilled. Sense of self worth diminishing. Unless. <laughs> Students, drop what you're doing. Lab. And get into the girls' room. We don't have much time before the inspector arrives. You want me to go into the girls' room? <laughs> oh, you're looking a little tense, Ms. Montserrat. Maybe you should go relax before the inspection. Don't worry about the girls' room. Budge and I can handle it. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Maybe a few laps in the pool will help me relax. Come on, let's get this over with. I've always wondered what it was like in here. Huh? It's pretty much just like the boys' room. Hello? Creepy. What's that sound? Weird. Weirder. Is that even a word? Hmm. One last thing. Why would someone stuff this in the faucet? It's not just any article, Creepy. It's from last year's cleanliness inspection. Whoever did this must be trying to sabotage this year's inspection. But who? Well, I can think of a whole school full of angry students with detention slips from Ms. Montserrat. Montserrat! Uh-oh! Hello? Is somebody there? This pool bucket is filthy! Montserrat's not gonna let this one bit. We'd better find out where that drain goes. Hey, help! Let me. I'm stuck in here. Anybody can hear me? That voice sure sounds like Miss Montserrat. Are you sure? I didn't hear it say detention. <laughs> Ms. Montserrat, are you okay? The inspector will be here in just over an hour. Of course I'm not okay. What, pray tell, is going on here? There's an important inspection coming up, and if Miss Montserrat... <laughs> Miss Montserrat! Quick, Dr. Babis, pick up a mop and clean. We're almost out of time. Come on, bud. Look. <laughs> for art and culture. She ruined the water ballet. That and she flushed me down the toilet. Oh, it's nothing personal. She's just worried about the inspection. Can't you cut her some slack? And ignore my near-death experience? Not to mention the water ballet? I'll make you a deal, Alistair. You guys can rehearse all you want after the inspection. Well, I suppose it was bad form to ruin her chance of winning. 
Very well, Creepy. We'll help clean up the mess we've caused. Then after the inspection, we'll move our practices to the swimming pool. Thanks, Alistair. I'll have to start choreographing the new routine. We could all be usual. Another year, another trophy, eh, Miss Montserrat? My warmest congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Pepys. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to wash my hands. Marvelous! Top shelf for everyone. Wait until you see the new soloist, Creepy. She's brilliant! Where is she? Hey, filthy creature. Bye-bye. Oh, Lord! I just to get hurt! My chance to be in this good land! Giant water bugs get their name because they're such talented swimmers. They can hunt for prey underwater by sucking air in through snorkel-like tubes on their bellies. Look out below! 